What's up guys, it's LH Low Tech, and this will be a quick video about how to pair and sync your Pebble Time Steel. The same thing as doing it with the Pebble Time, but obviously it's the Steel Edition, so it looks a little fancier. First thing we're actually gonna need is obviously either an Android or, or an iPhone. This is the Android edition of the app right here. Make sure you get the Pebble Time version, not the regular Pebble version, since they are different devices. Go ahead and load that up. And if this one you say, yes, I have the Pebble Time, it's right there. You are going to need an account to set up with Pebble, so let me fill that in right now. For there, then we'll get this screen selecting what language you actually want to use your Pebble for. So I'm going to use English in this case, but there are some other languages here, quite a number of them. So if you are in any other country other than the United States, perhaps you'll want to change the language, but we'll continue with English for this purpose. And then you'll see the Pebble Time appear here. It always say Pebble Time and then a unique identifier for this particular Pebble. Click that one and go ahead. Pretty strong vibration here. Yep, and pair. Once it's connected, it's actually to check for updates. There should be an update available as there was one on the other one. And we'll see it count down. I'll fast forward the video for you guys so you don't have to watch it install. And there we go. Looks like it's all done, all restarted. Let's power the app back on. And there we see update complete. So now we should be on the latest version of Pebble. Let's continue. Next thing we're gonna see is a language selection. This is for the notifications and stuff like that. I'm not sure why they have two language selections, but we'll go ahead and select English again. There aren't quite as many languages under this option menu though. Of course, it decides to back out for me. And there we go. I have to enable notifications. You can already see I have Android Wear enabled. Back, continue on, and pick the default lock screen. Go with this one for now. That is quite a loud vibration. Probably won't be quite as loud when it's on your wrist. Any events? Well, add apps later, but you can add some there. And there we go. It's all enabled. Everything is ready to use. You can add more apps as you go, obviously. This is the very basic default setup going up to show you all your missed or past events and pressing this button on the end to go back and going down to see all the different things coming up. There we are. So hope you guys like this video. This has been LH Low Tech and this is the Pebble Time Steel and this is how to set it up. Subscribe.